this is Bethany, BA Crafty Girl, and it is very exciting because it is my challenge and giveaway video! Yay! Uh, I s decided to uh, do a challenge slash giveaway uh, probably a month ago, month, month and a half ago, uh, when I had 300 subscribers, because I was like, when did that happen? <laughs> So uh, I had 300 subscribers, and I was like, oh, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, it's going to be awesome. And I wanted to have awesome prizes. Well, all of a sudden, 53 more subscribers have subscribed. So if you are a new subscriber, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, I never, when I first started this, it was just a way for me to uh, share my stuff, share my hauls, and share my projects with other people. Because um, although I live with people a lot, appreciate my craftiness. Uh, they don't always, you know, understand exactly why I'm so excited, <laughs> especially with my hauls. So uh, it was just a way to get to share with people because uh, us crafters, we like to share. So I never imagined I'd end up, you know, a couple years later with 353 subscribers and it's just been great. So Old subscribers, thank you for being faithful. And new subscribers, thanks for joining the bandwagon. Um, I just kind of do my little haul videos and do my little project videos and, and hope somebody likes what I do. So thank you very, very much. Uh, I think I will start with um, what you need to do to enter the giveaway. I wanted to have it be a challenge giveaway because uh, I really wanted to... Uh, people to have a chance to make something new and I really and you know challenges are a lot of fun I participated in Bon Bon Scraps challenge and that was the first challenge I ever did and it was a blast I loved playing along so I kind of wanted to do a challenge because it was so much fun and also I didn't I really wanted to have good prizes and I felt like if I had good prizes then people needed to do something besides just write a comment. So uh, I know the prizes will go to people that will use them and like them because they actually had to make something uh, to be entered. So that's part of my reasoning behind that. So number one is be a subscriber. If you're already a subscriber, you're ahead of the game. If uh, you're not a subscriber, go on ahead and click that subscribe button up there. New subscribers are welcome to enter. And then at number two, make something with four stamps. And that's what you have to do to be entered. And uh, to make something with four stamps, I made two examples today to show that even though four seems like a lot, it's really an interesting challenge. I mean, it wouldn't be much fun if we had a challenge that wasn't very challenging. So um, I'll show you my two things that I made. The first thing I made was a tag. And I used my new paper tray ink stamps. And this down here is the uh, flowers, the flower fusion 12 and the matching die. And to get this very long stem, I just uh, stamped the little stem twice. So I thought I would count the stamps that I used. Each flower is a stamp, one, two, three. And then the centers are stamps, one, two, three. And on this center, I used two stamps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, the butterfly was a stamp, 13, the t trail was a stamp. And then at 14, the frame. 15, the plaid center, and then a 16. So as you can see, four stamps, even though it sounds like it might be a lot, uh, you can go crazy. So there's one example. And then here's my other example. I used uh, the coffee cup from the new Heart to Heart release. And this is a little sack from Michael's. You get them where you get like the gift bags. They come in a package like this and as you see I wrote there's 25 so they're 12 cents a piece <laughs> but um I made this little bag and a gift card fits inside and it says let's get together for coffee and then I did a die cut of the coffee and then stamped uh the coffee mug and then the uh, little holder 
is also a stamp and Little Hearts were a stamp. So I was going to count these stamps for you too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And yes, I'm counting these. So if there's any question of that, the repeats count too. So, so there's another example of using, you know, four or more stamps. So back to the directions, make something with four stamps and it can be more because mine were made with more. And then since we're on make something with four stamps, things you could make an ATC, a layout, a gift bag, a tag, a card, a sign, ideas of things that you could make. And then number three, make a video, do a video response to this video. So make a video of your project, say this is my entry for BA Crafty Girls challenge and uh, and make a video response of your project. And then number four, repeat steps two and three up to three times with three different projects. So two, make something with four stamps and three, make a video response. So you can do three projects and three video responses. You don't have to do three, but you can do up to three. And then number five, tell friends, have them come play too, because the more people play, the more fun it is. So those are the directions of how to enter and then um, post entries by March 10th so that gives you uh, quite a while to make your things and then do a video response for them and then the winners will be selected by random by the 17th so if you do all three of your projects and all three video responses then you have three chances to win one of the prizes so on to the prizes. I don't, oh, I don't have very much time. Okay, so the prizes are pretty equal. I guess there's one that's a little bit bigger than the others, but all of the prizes will be picked by random. I'll put everybody in, everybody's name in a thing, and, and, and draw winners. So uh, it's not like I'm picking the best one or whatever. It's all random. So this is the first one. This is the first prize package. Uh, they're mostly stamps. Most of my prizes are my prizes are mostly stamps. So I have this stamp. It's called Happy Mail. It's a pure innocence for my favorite things. I have this uh, pink pink something, but I bought it at all that scraps. And she's so cute. She has a cupcake. And then a gorgeous girl rubber stamp. This one is called New Heights. I love this one. So cute. And then Sweet November Stamps, and this one is called Tess. It is adorable. I love it. Great for your winter cards. And then this Dynamics set from MFT, and it's called the Notch Tag Set. And then an Operation Write Home stamp. And if you do not know about Operation Write Home, I definitely urge you to go check them out there and need of uh, cards being donated right now. So that's one of the prizes. And then here's another prize. Oh, sorry, I hit the camera. Here's another prize. There's this Pure Innocence, Love You With All My Heart. This Pure Innocence, Believe in Magic. Lollipop. And Happy Mail. And an Operation Right Home stamp. And then this Dynamics from My Favorite Things. It is called the Mini Wavy Pennants. Those will be great to stamp some of the sentiments on from these stamp sets. So that's the other prize. And then the last prize, which is probably the biggest prize, is a set from... Paper Tray Ink, and it's this uh, set right here, studio style, and it's all about crafty things. It says, uh, happy birthday, crafty girl, stuff like that. A set of coasters. And then this set of stamps and a CD case to store them in, because it was a $5 set. So you'll get this set right here which is called 
fruit, fruit Fusion Apple Stamp Set. It's super cute. And then the die that goes along with it. And then this thank you set from Paper Train Ink. And then you'll also get the indexing label and then a CD case to store the apple set in. So those are the three prizes. I will pick three winners from random from people that do video responses. And uh, I'm really excited. I hope that uh, uh, everyone is excited too and will play along. And uh, I'm excited. I'm so excited to start seeing entries. So um, get your crafty on and uh, I'll be looking forward to it. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.